Mr. Speaker, this government has again stiffed Canadian IT companies and awarded a sensitive tech contract to a foreign company. So sensitive, in fact, they stated the work had to be done here in Ottawa using a government's computer. Yet the work is actually being done outside the country and certainly not on a secured government server. But don't worry, for security, they told the company to merely turn the screen away from the window when working. Is this seriously the government's idea of cybersecurity? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for the very important question. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to national security, when it comes to cybersecurity, members on the other side of the House and Canadians at home understand that we take that very seriously. I can assure the member that all issues relating to cybersecurity and national security are reviewed by the relevant agency to make sure that we protect data and we protect the safety of all Canadians. The Honourable Member for Edmonton West. Not at all the case, Mr. Speaker. The government actually, when queried, claimed the workers had to stay in the U.S. due to COVID restrictions. But during the first year of the pandemic, 7 million people were able to cross the border into Canada. The Liberals famously even exempted wealthy, connected American CEOs from the border restrictions. So why would the Liberals give a pass to wealth to the wealthy and connected, but tell contractors working on our sensitive security tech abroad to simply turn the monitors away from the window when working? The Honourable Minister of Science, Innovation and Technology. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank uh, the colleague for a very important question. The colleague understand that throughout uh, this pandemic, Mr. Speaker, we put a number of measures to protect the health and safety of Canadians. A number of them were regarding our borders. Like I said before, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to cybersecurity, I don't think we can take lessons from the colleagues. We take that very seriously as well as national security. Canadians at home know that we will always take decisions to further their best interests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for...